So today, if you haven't already done so, you will need your blue books. There's going to be a lot of blue book activities. You will also need your clickers. Um, a couple of things on class, in class this coming Thursday. Um, um, just as a bit of transition from what we've just been talking about, um, we were going to do this as a group question, but we've removed that, so we'll just do a quick kind of shout out here. Um, this curve should look familiar to you by now. We've talked about it several times. Um, <clears throat> and so from what we've discussed, uh, what can you tell me about this population? What are some attributes? What's going on in this population, in this, uh, in this curve? What's the curve called? How about that? Exponential growth, Exponential right. Growth. And what kind of population? And I think I've clipped off the beginning where they explain it. Um, this is just going to look at a map of human population, world population. And every dot is a million people. Um, some places there'll be a dot. It's not that there's a city of a million people there. That's an aggregate for that region. They put a dot in it. And they'll trace it up through um, into the future, I think to 2040 or 2020, something like that. They project it into the future. And they also list some kind of notable um, global occurrences at the time. Jackdart growth into the year 2050. A little out. Population concentrations will be independent. Everything we're talking about today has to be considered in the light of, of this population trajectory uh, of, of humans. And so let's take a few minutes in your group, and there's going to be two questions. The first one is, what would you consider the five largest impacts humans have on the environment? Think largely about the global environment. What are the five biggest impacts of any kind that humans are having. Please put your names in your blue book of the group members in attendance. So let's take a second here. I just want to get poll everybody about what they think of when we talk about conservation. And you might agree with more than one of these, but pick the one that, that matches your idea of conservation most closely. And let's do this as individuals. Individuals. Pick, pick what you personally think. Okay. All right. Lots, lots of support for B and C. Mostly B and C with a few for A and a few for D. So most people did not think it's prevent species extinction. Most people came down on the side of maintaining healthy populations of plants and animals and maintaining diverse ecosystems with a few thinking it's maintaining healthy populations of species important to humans. 